Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is Chase Elliott's 2019 uh, Watkins Glen uh, Race Win Elite. Um, I only got one finish of this, um, trying to cut back. <laughs> it's like getting off drugs, you gotta wean yourself off it, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I've got this one here in the case. This is how I normally have them displayed. Normally I can get a sticker up in the upper right of the track logo. Um, unfortunately, I already used a Watkins Glen one on last year, so I got to make another one or get another one. But that's usually how I got my race wins kind of set up there. So uh, we'll pop this uh, pop this out of the case, and then we will take a look at uh, at the die cast up close. So um, there we go. So we pop that off and set it on the other one. And we'll take a look here. He pretty much dominated this, uh, one by only half a second, because Truex was kind of hunting him down late in the race, but he led 80 laps of um, 90 laps, so he led all but 10 laps. I mean, that was a dominant race for Chase Elliott there. Um, and, again, only one by half a second, but Truex got in the wake of air, and he just couldn't catch him. So that's, um, I think Truex probably had the better car two years in a row, but air kind of played a call, and, I mean, it, give Elliott the props. He didn't make a ton of mistakes. Last year he made one, but he... Didn't lose the race on it, so uh, comes with a race win sticker as well. And then, as all, as all, as always, um, it is a race win of the road course, so we get some pretty good looking detail here. So let's first let's start with looking at this car with the the Napa blue on there. Looks amazing. I mean, it looks spectacular. You end up with kind of that sparkling blue, the real good metallic. Um, we do have the NASCAR heat logos on there. The rivets all along the skirt. There's that number nine. There you can see that Napa blue. Oh, I mean, that's the right blue. It looks good. Uh, a little weird on the window. You can see the rivets and the vents for where the window is, but they didn't put the window decaling on. And I'm not sure if it was supposed to be blue or what the deal is there. Kind of weird, but, you know, I don't really... I can't really go any further than that. I really don't know. Um, as you can see, we've got some uh, Goodyear rubber marks off the left rear. And then we have the Napa or honorary pit crew member on the corner panel with a little donut mark uh, when he and Truex are racing hard. Um, we got Napa Auto Care on the back. Uh, we got a little bit of digital, you know, damage that they tried to add in there. That one, this looks pretty bad. This one's really digital because it's just such a spine line of damage that they really couldn't put a true decal of damage on there. So it's just digital, and it, it does not look good. Um, inside, we got our fuel cell. DIN 463, Elliott, and the rivets on the rear windshield there. On to the right side, um, we got Napa Auto Parts. We've got number nine. You can see the black marks down by the uh, tailpipes. Uh, no right side window. I'm not sure what that is. I think they're allowed to run them this year. So I don't know if he had a right side window or not. Maybe they took it out in victory lane. I don't know, but again... Most of the race wins, even Bristol, short tracks, all them, don't have right side windows. So unless that's a road, road course exclusive thing, but I don't think Truex's Sonoma has it. So I think that might just be a Lionel flaw is just forgetting the right side window. So let me know if you have uh, the right side window in yours, and maybe I just have a fluky one. But uh, there you can see a little bit of damage, or not damage, it's a little bit of rubber stuff up by the right front corner or right front wheel. Um, but again, pretty clean. He didn't really get into trouble all day. He and Truex had a little bit of rubbing racing down the uh, in the S's, but not too bad. As you can see, we got Napa on the hood there with the nice sparkling uh, blue. Looks real good as always. And then on the front, all cleaned up. Very little rubber detail on there. So again, a very, very clean race win. No confetti. A lot like last year. Last year's had no confetti, but it was a very different paint scheme. Uh, inside, you got some race wind de or the engine detail with the holes and everything for where the wires and plugs should be. Uh, but they don't have them in here anymore. So, um, as I said, uh, really good looking race win uh, from the standpoint of like the paint scheme. Like this is one of the better looking Elliott Napa cars because they normally don't have the good metallic uh, blue on it. This one looks really really nice. But in terms of race damage, it does lack a little. There's you know a couple little dings, dents, and you know not really that much. So I would say this is probably one of the better ones to get if you are a person who doesn't like the pre-releases and how bad they usually end up looking. Um, but, but, you know, doesn't want it to be covered in confetti and all scuffed around. So, you know, there is a fine line of that. I, I used to do that. I used to wait, uh, if Kane won a year, uh, won a race that year, like 2013, his standard scheme looked like crap. And then they had the race win from Pocono come out and it was like, Oh, this looks a lot more like the ones he raced all year. Um, 
because it, the numbers were bigger, the sponsors were corrected because of, you know, when you release it in September of the previous year, you don't have all your sponsors, you don't know the size of all your numbers, the fonts, all those little things like that. So um, it, it is kind of a bonus to have that way because the 9 is correct on this one. It's not on the early season, but again, all little details. I have them both. I, ain't cha I am not trading them, so I don't really have to worry about it, but... That's pretty much it for this one. This is just how I display them. Uh, I did show it in the Talladega race win, how I kind of put the stuff on there um, and how I kind of use the the display case as a, you know, to keep these in there. I like these little cases. They come from Hobby Lobby. They cost about eight, eight or nine bucks, but they do really seal the, seal the case well. Not a lot of dust gets in there. They stay really, really clean and, um, it's really, really nice so that, well, you know, a year later you pull them out and they still, I mean, just sparkly as could be. So um, I've got all his race wins um, in Elite that they've made in Elite. The only one they haven't was uh, obviously the truck, the K&N, and then, but all the Xfinity and Cup wins I've got in Elite. And um, I've got them in cases like this to keep them nice. So uh, anyway, that'll wrap up this review. Let me know in the comments if you hit a right side window and how you display your race wins. Other than that, that'll wrap it up. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.